in the early 20th century, African Americans were depicted as unintelligent, animated figures of society through movies, books, and other forms of entertainment and media. As a result of often being shown in such an embarrassing light, the general American movie goer below the value of the Negro population. Without any real sense of demographic, it became impossible to find any morals or commentary in a colored picture. With no visible signs of eventual turnaround, writer Oscar Michelle took the responsibility of changing cinema forever, and therefore created new rights and new privileges for African American filmmakers across the world. Oscar Michel was born January 2nd, 1884. He was raised in middling conditions, as his family was promised 40 acres and a mule. However, they purchased their own land from the Freemans Savings and Trust Corporation. His family's net worth was $350. Oscar Michel wrote his first novel, Homesteader, in 1919. He self-published the novel by selling copies of it door to door. He eventually sold the motion picture rights to the Lincoln Motion Picture Company the same year. He insisted that he would direct the film himself, as he would have the most experience and knowledge about the subject matters approached throughout the film. Several of the subject matters that Michel covered in his movies were rape, domestic abuse, financial problems, and many other conflicts dealt with the average American, depicted by African American actors. Most of his films were shot in black and white, which some analysts described as his interpretation upon the division of the nation. Still, isn't it kind of ironic how a colored filmmaker could only film in black and white? Michel often funded his films by going to segregated African American theaters and asking them for advances in exchange for premier screenings at their theaters. Because he didn't have the benefit of having a studio as a person's film, so he did it himself. He really put the films underneath his arm and carried them around the different, uh, different markets. Michelle produced about 44 motion pictures. Only 13 survive today, including his works such as Within Our Gates, Swings, Lying Lips, Body and Soul, and The Exile, which, as his first sound film, currently resides in the Library of Congress as a 16 millimeter print. Oscar Michel was inducted into the Hollywood Walk of Fame on February 13, 1987. This accomplishment is well deserved due to his achievements and legacies in cinema. His excellence is important to the development of our culture, as movies are perhaps the most influential and commercialized form of entertainment and media. The evolution of film for African Americans has kind of a uh kind of run along the same course as you American in general. I mean, um, technology of course has changed and uh, we're more sophisticated, as is the African American audience is more sophisticated. And so you see a more type of, uh, a, more of a, more of a wide range of films that are coming through our community, coming through our filmmaking stories that are being told, are kind of, uh, kind of reflect that. Michelle's film sparked the era of race movies. Race movies are movies that predominantly star African American actors and are targeted towards African American audiences. A major criticism towards the genre of race movies was that they have very low production quality. This was evident, however, because so many independent filmmakers and distributors had to work vigorously to find whatever little money they had. This resulted in producing films for a budget within $5,000 to $10,000, which is a very small amount for such a huge feature film. Another criticism is that many of these films might have over-glamorized 
over-exaggerated the lifestyle of African Americans at the time. However, many ethnic historians dispute that. By proving in certain parts of the country, there were progressive movements in African American culture. One example of such was the Harlem Renaissance, which was a huge movement in African American artistic expression, which is famously known for many of his writers, such as Langston Hughes. We also praised Michelle for his movements and achievements in cinema. However, with all the petty arguments aside, it was neutrally agreed on by many critics and analysts that the progression of race movies ultimately led to the integration of African American actors and storytellers in the film industry. The casting for African American roles to African American actors in predominantly white movies led to several historical events such as Annie McDaniel for becoming the first African American to win an Academy Award for her role in Gone with the Wind in 1940. The genre of race movies have evolved throughout the course of cinema. In the late 60s and 70s, many studios were producing films known as black exploitation films. This was a period in which many motion picture companies in Hollywood were considering working to appeal to the African American demographic, which have proven to be successful. You know, people go see that, there's not a follow up behind those films because the audience is already there and wants to see that. The audience is, di is dictating what we see. That's why you had now this plethora of films that were coming out that people wanted to see because we hadn't seen anything like that before, at least in that, that, that time frame. While this era of African American filmmaking was criticized for the bombastic approaches of black storytelling and characters, there were still smaller, more controlled views on African American life, such as films like Lily of the Bill and The Raisin in the Sun. This transition between contemporary portrayals of lifestyles smoothly flowed with what was being produced in the late 70s, 80s, and 90s. Where more contemporary and a stylistic looks of African American life demonstrated. Similar to what Michelle originally intended. What we have today is a renaissance of African American movies. Movies that tell the different depictions of African American lives and challenges. Thanks to Oscar Michelle, many filmmakers could actually express what they need to say through film or through the other medium of art. Michelle was truly a groundbreaker to the art form of cinema. He took on the responsibility of voicing the opinions of several African Americans in the time period that many of us could not. Therefore, his movements in the film industry are perfect examples of rights and responsibilities in the film industry for African Americans.